there, I'm Kirsten Benson with HollywoodLife.com and today I have the pleasure of chatting with Jennifer Aspen who plays Sharon Peachum on the upcoming hit GCB on ABC. How are Hi. you doing? I'm great, thank you. I am so excited for this show. It premieres this Sunday after Desperate Housewives at 10, 9 central. There's our plug. Yeah. And who do you play? I play Sharon Peachum who is a chubby ex-beauty queen in distress. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Chubby ex beauty queen in distress. Yes. But you are not chubby. This is not Thank chubby. You. No, I'm not chubby. I do a whole thing to play this character. I I eat <laughs> to uh, increase the size up from where I am now. I don't wear Spanx. I wear a fat suit. Maybe it's just a chubby suit. It's not a fat suit. You're it's like not a like chubby obese. suit. Yeah, You're it's just, like a chubby you suit. You have like curves. Yeah, boobs and hips and butt and just, you know, really big curves. And then I pick clothes that, um, Accentuate the curves. Right, so I go up like about four sizes on camera. <laughs> Look at you, skinny mini! Oh. But what was so great about it is I've never had a job where I'm like, oh no, I have to <laughs> eat before filming, like a lot. And I would go to dinner with like Marisol Nichols and I have been friends for a long time. And uh, she's on the show and we would eat and she would have four ounces of steak and a thing of asparagus. And the guys would come to the table with the bread basket. Do you want this? She'd be like, no. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid you're going to shrivel up and blow away, you little toothpick. <laughs> In the storyline, tell us what happens with your husband. There's some major drama, and your marriage is just like falling apart from your very eyes, and you're yes. doing everything you can to stop it. Yes, so this little hussy, Amanda, <laughs> comes back into town, and she was a horrible person in high school. She was just an absolute mean girl and treated us all horrifically. She comes back into town like, oh no, I'm nice now. And we're like, oh really, watch this. Uh, welcome home. How long are you staying? Don't know yet. I'm still figuring it all out. Well, darling, we all hope you're here for good <laughs> and not for evil. So we're not having it. And who would? No, right? I mean, you hate that girl. Now on top of just that yeah. alone is enough to be upset with her at, then she kisses my husband. Oh boy. That's an issue. Let us open our hearts in support of her as she struggles to pick up the pieces of her shattered, tragic life and keep us ever mindful of the humiliation of sin, degradation, and lack of moral decency. You shot 10 episodes, but since you've stopped filming, have you been hanging out at all? Have you seen any of the women? Kristen Chenoweth and I are you know, a six pack of wine coolers away from a love affair. But basically, <laughs> like, we're just... I love her so much. She's so, so special, and um, she's become a dear, dear friend. You were both on Glee, right? Yeah, but we never met on Glee. Okay, so you didn't meet until you started shooting this. We d met in Dallas. And I love how in GCB they really take advantage of Kristen's voice, and she just knocks it out of the park in the church choir. Yeah, absolutely. How much say does she have in like what song she sings and what she's doing up there? Do you know much about that? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's really the writers that, because we have extraordinary. Bobby Harling is, you know, First Wives Club, Steel Magnolias, Soap Dish. This is like a writer of Southern women. Right. So we're really following his lead and he comes up with these ideas and I'm sure that I don't, you know, I didn't see how right. it goes down, but I'm sure it arrives and she's like, great idea, because they're great <laughs> ideas. And, um, and, but she pitches a lot of great storylines too. <laughs> Can so I good. tell you, the, I, this is, I shot my favorite episode of television on this okay. show. So I got a script and I read it at 10 o'clock at night and I couldn't sleep till six in the morning. Why? Just because I was so excited. Yeah, I was so excited to shoot it. Can you tell us any little tidbits yes. about it? That episode, um, Carlene, which is Kristen's character, her, she every year does her wedding renewal vows, but it's a million dollar wedding. It's Heidi Klum seal style. I don't know. They, what, they redo their vow. They, they used do? to back in the day when they were together. When they were together. Yeah. yeah All right. So they redo so their vows. They redo their vows every year, and every year is a theme. So this year the theme is Gone with the Wind. And it's the first time that she's asked me to be her maid of honor. This is a big, big deal. And then little skanky puss, Amanda, weaves her way in there and takes it away from me. Ooh. That's a big issue. So not only has she taken away your husband. Right, and I twirl knives in her face. Oh, it goes down in this episode. Oh my gosh, well thank you so much. I cannot wait to see the show and you guys need to tune in. GCB yeah. on Sundays after Desperate Housewives. Thank you so much for coming in. You're welcome. Thank you so much for having me. I hope you guys all love the show. Hi, I'm Jennifer Aspen from GCB. Make sure to subscribe to ENTV to get your entertainment news first.